Psalms 18, part 2, where I left off from part 1. Uh, I'm revealing the first writer's uh, formats in Psalms, and so far we, I've been doing pretty good. But the question is, is how come the world doesn't know about this? So let's continue and see how it goes from here. I need to, let's see, which one am I working on? I'm working on this one here. And I need some about light. That'll help a little bit there. Now, I cleaned it all up so all the marks are gone right now. And uh, I'm just going to go through, and it looks like it's a four verse, but we have a problem here. But it looks pretty good for a four verse format. So I love Wyvy, who is my strength. He is like a fortress, for he is my deliverer, in whom I take refuge, my shield of my salvation. Oh, shield. And whoops, I think he is he is my shield and my salvation, my strong whom who I call upon. And there, my strong whom, my stronghold. Nope, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. I call upon YV. Ooh. Hmm. Whoops. Sorry about that. Um. I call upon Wyvie, who is worthy to praise. You know, that doesn't have the same rhythm as, see how it's pretty much one word, one word, one word, one word. I mean, there's, it does get to a couple words here. But can I, how am I to do that? He is worthy to be pray. He is not worthy. Uh, he is, he is to be praised. I would say for for I was saved. Whoops. Now I know I added this word so I can take that out. For I was saved from my enemies. Their cords of death encompassed me. So their cords of death encompass me. How does this read? I call upon Wyvie, who is to be praised, for I was saved by my enemy. Hmm. I guess I call upon Wyvie, who is to be praised, for I was saved from my enemies. Their cords of death encompass me, and their torrents of ungodliness terrified me. I don't know if I'd use the word torrents. Um, anyway, the cords of Sheol surrounded me. The, the, the gripping of shield cords I, I i wouldn't use that word either like i said i'm just looking for the format so right now i'm just kind of going through to see uh how four verse can be done but 
there are some words here that I would definitely change. I called out to my creator for help. He heard my voice from his house. He, and this dates it to Solomon and after. Uh, he made darkness his hiding place. His, he made darkness. Well... He made darkness his hiding place, his canopy around him, like darkness of deep waters. Okay, and uh, okay, uh, the clouds in heaven. Now this doesn't meet the format. You can see that this is a different style. So, what we're going to do is we're going to do this and this because um, it's a good format, um, but it doesn't belong with this. He delivered me from my strong enemies, from those who hate me, for they were too mighty for me. All of a sudden, now this, these two seem to connect pretty well according to the format. Deliver me from my strong enemies. I would say enemies. Maybe I'm getting a little bit off base here. And from those who hate, from my strong enemy and those who hate me. I guess I should add the D back on because that I did take that off in the last one. For they were too, no. They weren't too mighty because they overcome them. So this verse is not really true. It's not staying to the subject that uh, he's being delivered by our creator. So um, I'm seeing this as not belonging right now. But why be was my stay? Although, I guess when I'm looking at it, if I go like this, remove this, remove this, they were mighty. But why if it was my stay, I would say a redeemer. He brought and he rescued me because he delights in me. I don't really, I get rid of that one and that reads into the format or one major word and then it becomes like that why he has rewarded me according to my righteousness according to the cleanness of my hand now that is getting away from the format again but so is the next one down so let me see what happens here. Why he has rewarded me according to my righteousness and according to the cleanness of my hands. According to my righteousness he has. So if I got rid of this one, these are just trial and errors. Has rewarded me according to my righteousness. He has recompensed me. And I can't. If I put the word four here and get rid of 
this. Wyvy has rewarded me for my righteousness. He has recompensed me. I wouldn't use the word recompense me either. Um, I would have to look at the other words and see how they're going because um, that just doesn't read good. Um, he's being redeemed. He's thinking of um, some of the text is telling us how to think like uh, he did at that time too, or the writer. Um, because he definitely has been to battle and he understands that um, uh, example, uh, cords of death and snares death confronts me. The snare called out for help from his house. He may... Now this is pretty much the, the knowledge that they would have known that our creator, um, how he appears to pe how he appears to the prophets. Okay, and that is when they're in a vision. Um, everything is dark around them uh, and then he appears as a um, circle of white light and either speaks from the light or um, myself i seen his arm come out uh, this far um, so that's in my uh, first video in my description box below and if you want to go to the abyss uh, just to find out if you have a soul and this would be for males and as soon as uh, science figures out how for females um, females will be able to visit the abyss but you can also um, know that you'll have a soul uh, uh, be able to have knowledge of the afterlife and for those of you who are righteous you righteous males out there, you think you're righteous, you think you're obeying our Creator, you're doing your best you can. Um, I tell you uh, how to battle and call out for Satan and um, when they try to kill you, literally, you ain't gonna be, you might not wake up back here, but um, if, our, if our Creator thinks, or if our Creator wants to reward you, uh, for your righteousness, he will redeem you and make you open your eyes here after he makes you see him. And you'll know that this verse right here is true, true, true. Okay. He delivered me from my strong enemies and from those who hated me. They were mighty, but why he was my defender. He rescued me because he delights in me. Why he has rewarded me for my righteousness. He has uh, redeemed me. For I have kept his commands from why he, For I have kept. I guess I could divide that. For I have kept the commands from why he, I have not act. I have not been wicked. I I have not I am I am not wicked I am not wicked then this verse, I am not like at all. His words are before me, so. For I have kept the commands from Wyvie. I am not wicked. I am not wicked. His words are before me. Okay. Did that clean that one up? All these he's already said. Uh, that word I don't like. Um, blameless he's already said. 
statutes there's only a few statutes um i think that's an added verse or just like i said about the other one above <clears throat> because this here now says it goes together hmm with the pure or with the righteous you show yourself righteous uh, with the with the crooked you show yourself just I wouldn't say our creator's gonna show himself crooked <laughs> I don't see that at all um, for you save the if you have saved You are like a lamp. No, oh, that can't divide it. That can be divided. You slay, you save the. But that's really not. I don't see that as really, really truthful, truthful. All the eyes. In the base. I don't see that. Um, I'm thinking that those don't need to be there. They just don't. Um, because he's talking about his self as the righteousness. And then he's talking about the people. And then it goes back to being saved, but it's not him. And then it comes back to him. So I'm seeing, and therefore removing, this. And then, or by you, I can run upon a troop. Or I can charge a troop. I would say I can charge a troop. Or I can charge the enemy. Um... And by my creator, I can leap over a wall. For L has his, for L his way is blameless. The words from YV is tried. For my, uh, this is almost. Um, we can't use the word creator because I know that that's pretty much Elohim. I'm so convinced of that that uh, uh, it's not even funny. So, and I know that um, L has been used for God, but he's referring to other gods. And then he's then he was referring to other gods, and then but he was speaking to about um pagan people and comparing their god to and then why they would be a god that they don't believe in um no words oh. is is tried um Words from YV. I have. I trust, not tried. I would say that's. If you're going to put it in first person speaking, and uh, you're coming across here, the words from YV are true. Are tr I trust. He is the shield. See here. That goes that goes so then i can get rid of because his way is bl blameless doesn't make any sense so there got rid of the word l <laughs> um the words from yv i'm gonna i trust that they need to be here 
and whoops yeah my hand still hurts I've been doing too much of this one right after another I got to give my right hand a rest so my aim isn't too good today he is my shield Here's my shield. And I take refuge in him. First person still speaking. Um, he, is a, he is my shield. Now, I would have to go up and look at the text where he, maybe this has been already repeated here. Where is it? Uh, right here. So, would he repeat it down here? Yeah, I guess he would might do that. Or who is L but why they and who is my rock except our creator? Here, I can see if I do our God, and this is the title that I'm thinking, Our God Who Girds Me With Strength and Makes My Ways Blameless. No, I would have to go through and clean this up, but I'm, see, here's that word blameless. I thought I was, it was being used before. Is this a repeat or does this need to be removed? Who is L? That would have to be like that. But why we, but why be accept our creator? Who is a rock? I'm trying to divide that up. I can't divide that. Who is a rock? In fact, this, if I did this, then you could see our creator and get rid of that and then I would put the word is is who guards me not guards me but guards me Um, our creator doesn't wrap himself around you. You don't need to do that. Um, who is who guards me with strength and makes me who guards me and with his strength. Hmm. I'm looking, I'm thinking, I'm not just trying to uh, not be quiet here. Who is hell? I don't, s this, this verse, I think can be removed because I'm thinking 
I take refuge in him. Our creator is who, because then this would be also removed. I'm not trying to do them on, on, on purpose to get rid of the problem. I'm trying to uh, connect the words that make sense because uh, just re moving the two titles, uh, you can see that our creator is who guards me. With his strength, he makes my way blameless. With his strength, I would say his will, I guess, if I was to correct the text. And the width has to be his. Whoops. With his strength. With his strength. He makes. I think it's be I think he would be say so here I'm thinking he's blameless for killing his enemies. Okay? I think that's what this word here means in here. Our our creator is who guards me with the strength he makes makes me blameless. Yeah, I think that would I think that's um change this to not being there. I'm changing this to me. All of a sudden, I see that being, whoops, that, and then this doesn't need to be there no matter how. Yeah, I like it like that, because that definitely gets back to that format that I've been looking for. I don't think he needs the word right hand here. Your hand upholds me, and your gentleness makes me grow. Yeah, this has already been said. So when there's a repeat, I'm trying to get rid of it. Um, he trains my hands for battle, so my arms... I don't need the word that. So my arms... And bend a bow of bronze. I don't even, I don't think the word bronze needs to be here. So my arms can bend my bow. Maybe I'm trying to go through and edit the whole text, but sometimes I'm just trying to get the feel of how the next verse needs to be um, looked at. He trains my hands for battle, so my arms can bend my bow. You're right up and up, oh, man, your gentleness makes me great. Um, I think this is added. I don't see that connecting. I can see this connecting to this, because first his arms, now his steps. See that? Um, because now we'd have two verses, or two groups, these are I would call like small paragraphs and you can see that paragraph and that paragraph go together in case I come up here and I see that uh, this group here excuse me but if this group here uh, connects with this group here as like one larger group then I can look for that I'm looking for the style of the writer and I know there's a lot of this you're not seeing right now until you see it done do you see this and like um, I, I've done this for a long time and I'm recognizing arms here steps here or feet here okay uh, he, you that's our creator enlarge my steps under me and my feet have this I don't know about the word enlarge I have to <laughs> I pursued first my steps under my feet. I have uh, when I pursue uh, 
Now, how do I get to a one word here? If he is pursuing here, I don't need the word pursue. You enlarge my steps under me, and my feet have not slipped, I would say, to fall, but uh, I guess that's the intent here. Um, and that would be his pursuing. So my enemies. And my feet have not slipped. My well, I guess uh, if I did leave the word pursued there, because now that could hook to that, but this is, I pursued my enemies and overtook them. I guess that would work out okay. I did not. I guess I could say I did not return, return, not turn, that I did not return from battle until, until they were dead. I killed them so they were not able to rise. They, thus they fell. Thus they fell under my feet. Although I'm not sure already. Well, your enemies, yes. Um, I'm trying to think of after the battle you fought them, their people are left, and um, the people were not able to rise, and now they're underneath his feet as his rule. He rules over them. Um, I've got a lot going on in my little head, uh, but you can see what I'm thinking here. My kills are not able. This is a repeat. This has already been said. That's been said. Yeah, this is, that's, that's weird. That does, that is a different style. That's somebody else writing that because that's, that's really good. I mean, that's, they have fallen under me, those, you have some, you have subdued them under me. I'd have to use the word them there, I guess. But you have subdued them under me. Who rise up against me? Those who rise up against me. You have made my enemies turn their backs to me. But see, this has already been done here by this writer. Person of the arm overtook him until they're dead. Now they. And now it's just repeating. This could be, I think we have a larger chunk of a second text being stuck in there. And I'm, you know what's crazy with this one because of the way that we got one there and one, up, whoops, that one there. And then this one here. And then these here. You know what, I'm going to take a look and see if we can put, take those two and put them with these, this group here. Because this is just, uh, I can see that this is just a different writer. That's, that's weird. 
if it can be done, it's even really weird. And because my thinking is that when they took the text and they had to corrupt it, because they had to corrupt it, they they these uh, scrolls were actually out among the people being taught at their synagogues and their gathering places, okay? And the scribes were teaching them, and now those scribes are the bad guys, but now they have to teach. So um, how do you put that upon the people? I mean, like, like today, all of a sudden, everybody is supposed to uh, think that queers are okay and transvestites okay and little kids can have sex with that, whatever they want. I mean, they're starting to teach this stuff in fourth grade that's just absolutely godless. But before then in this country, for my whole life, this was always like, don't talk about them because they're not someone you should uh, pay attention to them. Um, but the, now all of a sudden it's our politicians needing votes that it's like, okay, they're okay, they're okay. Now vote for me and keep me in power. And they don't care about righteousness. And I can see that this is, how is, how is this happening in the text? That they might need to keep these other pieces uh, to put in there. And then you've seen how many words I'm correcting. Um, so the thing here is, is by them changing a few words here and there, they're trying to deceive you because they're putting in their pagan practice into the text. Um, you don't see it. I know it, okay? I know this. Uh, one day you will catch up and understand that, and maybe someday that, uh, yes, they will come forward and they will know who is right or wrong. In fact, here's a good one. In 1995... I found them on the internet. Now you gotta remember, at that time there wasn't maybe 10, maybe 12 million pages on the internet. And I was on a message board with them. And when I started challenging them that their practice was wrong, they tried to kind of like, you don't know what you're talking about, get out of here. So I challenged all of them. Now you gotta remember, this was on a message board and there was at least 60 messages a day. Now, even today, that's a lot on a message board and under one subject or, or a few subjects being posted and then being commented to. So I openly challenged them. I know more than you. Let's play the game. And uh, at the end, after, because when I started, I was asking them questions and they couldn't answer. And then when they wrote a question, I answered their question, and then explained a little bit more about what, what they meant by what they were saying. And after three days, there was only two of us commenting and everybody else was reading the board. They weren't writing. They wanted to see what was going on here because it was very unusual for somebody to come along and be wiser than their own practice. That's what our creator has done to me. He's made me wiser than them. In fact, let me show you something here. You keep seeing this screen here. Now that screen is for the Taoist, okay? So when the Taoist comes along and they see that, and they start deciphering that, and I know you can't decipher that, but that's for Taoist, and they, those males are under a practice that you, males used to live to be a thousand years old. Yes, see, you don't know that. <laughs> Neither did they. That was the point that I come out against them and they found that out. And you guess what? Right now you go into the store, go into a drugstore, go into uh, the aspirin section and read all the aspirin titles. All the names, okay, in all the first largest font or the second largest font, and tell me which one doesn't have the letter X. The letter X is telling them, it's their signal to, them, to everyone out there that if they can read code, 
or learn code. Some people today might understand that there's these flat earthers out there. Well, the flat earthers are the guys that are the guys that are putting out the letter X, trying to tell these people that the their world of being around this practice that they have with the by sitting and meditating is wrong, and that's because that first video in my comment or in my description below yes they had two righteous men actually witness uh coming back and saying our creator made me see him and that changed everything behind the scenes in this country and it has spread to europe you don't know this you're just sitting there trying to live life but there is a battle that is going on across the whole world. And I'm seeing some of this stuff that uh, uh, the, in this uh, political situation that we're here in America, that one party is just gone Satanism. <laughs> and that's hard to say, but I think Satan is trying to push this. Uh, he's kind of found that these other guys have backed out on him and he's really showing himself by corruption by blackmail and he's they're all being blackmailed out there majority of them i mean uh one day they're out there speaking all great things and then, then something comes up important and they're talking from like you never heard of that that guy say anything like that before so there's there's uh behind the scenes pressure going on and you can see so and then when you look at all the letter x's in there look around look around okay <laughs> see how many letter x's are in there and think about how many people have to be in place to do that that just blows my mind i mean it, it it's 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 a happy thing for me it should be a happy thing for you that uh, they believe our creator exists they believe what i've told you and in that description below there it is this is what makes me different okay but our creator has given me the knowledge to be higher than their knowledge so when i'm sitting here complaining about a word and like girded me like how can our creator actually um wrap himself around you now to you it's kind of like yeah that's i see that 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 word's wrong to them that's the, the, the uh, that happens to them okay so the thing here is what you're seeing here is like a uh, a reasonable understanding of understanding we have a creator that makes sense that he can't uh, gird around a person uh, but the object is is he can look over him watch over him uh, like a physical being and he is a being so so um, these words a lot of these words that I'm correcting have specific meaning for them okay um, but I'm going to, uh, <laughs> anyways, I'm having fun because uh, once they start realizing that you're paying attention to all this, uh, it's definitely game on. I mean, you're going to see an upheaval, a real big one. <laughs> and uh, I, I don't know what our creator's got in mind, but uh, when it breaks, <laughs> it's going to break. You have made my enemies turn their back to me. I destroyed those who hate me. They'll see that's all of a sudden. So it's not a bunch of verses here. I was thinking that there was going to be more than verse than a verse to hook up. So this is just going to be another verse that is stuck in there. Yeah, because I killed them so they were not able to rise. Thus they fell under my feet. They cried for help, but there was none to save them, even to YV, but they, you did not answer them. You have delivered. Yeah, see that? This is just these two don't belong. But they have a good format. And that just tells me that maybe they're borrowing text and putting it in and just changing a few words 
and you know that's that's just i can see i'm trying to think how they're thinking that's that's even <laughs> I, it, it's a uh, it's weird wearing their shoes but um to be able our creators gifted me uh with so much knowledge that I, this is uh purposely uh i truly jesus's prophecy uh about him uh, sending somebody to reveal the truth of jesus uh wait until you see me get into psalms or onto the four gospels um and what's even better you can skip right to my website and go right there and see our creator's hidden format and that message should blow you away um, in the description below check out daniel how quickly uh daniel and how beautiful that format is i mean there's that's just simple that's even simpler than this stuff um but anyways they cried for help see but that is they cried out i would have to say they cried out not for help but i would just say that i can get rid of the word help for help they cried out and uh, somebody on the battlefield would know that um they cried out and no one saved them no one no no one saved not none but now here i would put the word l meaning uh when they cried out to their god they couldn't they weren't saved because if you notice the next words, even to YV. So they cried out uh, their L to save them. They cried out to L to save them, even to YV. But Oh, they cried out. I'm just going to go like this, and I'm going to just say, hey, I'm getting kind of deep into this one. I want to get down to, I don't know how far I got to go, but yeah, I better just, I didn't plan on it being this long. And I'm just going to say that this this is even too YV, but you did not answer them. I'm having a hard time, but this is fitting is the writer's expression as going forward. Even to YV, but you did not answer him because he's talking to our creator again. Yes, it's here. Um, but you delivered me. This is this is starting to get tough to where this is this can be I would look I would change this right here by saying get rid of the word to have uh, because if I'm following from here even to you but you did not answer them but you delivered me I would put the word but in front here uh, and go like this and you you delivered me from the contentions i had to replace the word contentions you have placed me as head of their nations their nations because they won the battles so um we can see this is a cry of from a we can tell this is this these words might be um from a king who went to battle okay 
but the thing here is is uh, because it has the word house in it we know this is after Solomon so this would be a king this would be a king from Judah who would have been uh, having put up with them coming down but uh, how do you make them over different nations I, I can't I can't specifically point to a time where this text would be true except for at David's time so this might be from David when you see this or somebody writing for David and David telling him we kind of say this this is what I want he said because you have placed me as the head of their nations this is um, David preparing maybe the word house is wrong and it would have to be yeah I think the word house up above is wrong and it would be tent and then we'd have it correct as to be David to people who I don't want to serve me whoops as soon as I hear my command they obey me for and I would say their people submitted on me as soon as they heard my command and their people submitted to me um, the foreigners left uh, left them uh, submitted to me well the only thing is is this fortress is their capital city David went to their capital city so yes Damascus would probably have been fortified Ivy lives I am like a rock okay this this is gonna go together but this is going to this needs a lot of work um, I'm gonna put that in yellow needing work um, this does not need this is a repeat of doubling up from the text above All this has been said, except for that. And this is not needed. This here has all been said. But it might end up being a format. But I'm not seeing, you know, I'm seeing this, these two groups and the other one. Um... I'm not going to go looking for that stuff, but I guess I should mark this in yellow as possible in case I do. But I come back and look at this. And then down here, this is, hmm, this is like the writer of David is kind of hand signing this. Therefore, I give thanks to you, and I sing praises to your name. Yeah, see, this is this is this is just not the same writer. I can't even divide that up. I can't be. I can't because those are those are hooked together like that. To his anointed, to his anointed David, and his descendants forever, and because he is, if this is definitely at a time when David was, uh, at yeah, this text is coming from David, I, I believe, I really do believe that now, and he gives great deliverance to his king. Okay, let me go up here correct or well that was a lot yeah when they get a lot like that there's um, let me go like this it's going to take me a little bit but what I'm doing is just going to get rid of this text like this uh 
Um, I'm going to leave that separate. Because this is, if I use just the word cry out, I think that's pretty good to replace that one word. This will be found later. Um, I did not return. Um, pull up pound. What do you think? Are you thinking that the text is okay? Or at least the uh, four verse format it has definitely been found in here? I think it has. I really, I'm liking this. And, I, and I, I'm glad that we're getting to see the style of the writer show up so vividly in the text here. And that's, just remember, this would, this is, when I'm revealing these, these are like uh, 3,000 years old, you know? I mean, we're peeling back some years here. So uh, this isn't a game going on here. This is, this is uh, I think it's historical, okay? I don't know about you, but um, I know that what I'm doing is definitely uh, gonna shatter some uh, <laughs> I can just <laughs> I keep thinking of those weak kneed Christians that think every word is right in the Bible when they have no idea when they actually run across somebody like me and I'm kind of like oh take a look at these sons of Jesus is a liar here uh, this verse Jesus is teaching karma um Wake up, Christians. This is this is not a game. You're under attack. And uh, it's going to be, it's, their day is coming to an end. And if you know Jesus' prophecy, that's exactly what he said was going to happen to them. So let me do this. And then come up here and because I want to grab it a second time and then put it into um, two columns layout two columns trying to hurry up as well and they have to get rid of this and make this the top column into If I do that, it goes up to the top. Now I know that I really got to shrink this down because it's it's a long one. Oops, that's going to affect a lot. But I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all on one page. No, I'm not. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a screenshot and. Uh, I'm going to need this for a second here so I can get this thing as a screenshot as well for myself and a screenshot there and that only took an hour so both of these are about an hour long to get through this many verses oh I did it again how did that and my salvation get hooked up way up here? Take refuge in him and my salvation. Maybe I need to get rid of that. Where is that? Salvation. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. I call.
That, that's funny because that's right at the beginning. How did that jump over there? This goes under here. And this goes over here. Boy, did that. I uh, Sorry, just, I got to throw them out. I got to. Anyways, that screenshot ain't going to work. Um, so, because if I do this, I'll just put it in red. Just so when I see it later, I got to say, no good. I got to do something um, better than what this is doing. I don't understand how Word did that. But anyways, 9 to 19, uh, I enjoyed that one. That was a little bit of a, a thinking game because right now, voice from his tent. Um, and I'm going to, I should put that in right now because this is David. This is pretty good as David. When the text is revealed, it's this is a this is probably one of the few times that I can definitely say David because that's the only time I can think of when a king because there were judges before only king started at uh, Saul so David was the next king that went around and conquered him. You know, what was it, 40 years he ruled or something like that? 33 and, or 7 in Hebron and 33 in Jerusalem? Anyways, um, see you on the next one.